Today we're gonna to be making the tongue for the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1s. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button. Today we're gonna to be making a tongue for a Travis Scott Jordan. As you can see, I kinda of got a uh, Travis Scott going already. I'll show that in a later video, but for right now, today we're gonna to be making the tongue. I'm gonna to be using just standard white leather as well as black leather for the um, inside liner. The white's gonna be outside facing, outside toward the front. It's gonna be fairly um, easy and simple. I got all my patterns right here ready to go. So I'm just gonna start tracing stuff out and cutting stuff out. So in a future video, I'll show you these parts as well. I'm gonna be making a video very soon on um, like the sizing. I won't really show the front cause I'll be a surprise, but you know, punching all the holes in for like the toe box, where to punch them in order to make it look like a Jordan. Also, you know, how to punch the holes for the shoelaces, so stuff like that. So just, you know, just some ideas for the future. But I got my pen and I got my scissors, so I'm gonna start cutting. So I got all my pieces cut out. I got the front and the back. The back obviously is the liner. That's just gonna be a simple black. The front is gonna be the white with that off-white grayish bluish from the off-white shoes that we made earlier. But this is gonna be the white piece of leather. So we got those two for the left shoe and the right shoe. Then we got our foam for the inside. So I'm gonna glue it all together, then we'll get ready to stitch. So boom, just like that, we got the two pieces glued. I just wanted to show you a quick tip real quick. As you can see, the liner, so the back side that's gonna to be touching your foot, actually has a little bit more material than the front side and what this is for, so you could stitch a nice line while still like stitching on this compared to just stitching like off of an edge where there's um, nothing else hanging off. So I just like to have the extra material on the outside and then from there, once I stitch it on, I'll cut it all off. Like especially for this tongue as well, the front is gonna be, so just like the normal thread's gonna be white, the bobbin's gonna be black, the bobbin is what's gonna be on this side and the normal thread's gonna be on this side, so that's what will make it flush. So just keep that in mind too if you're doing stitches like this. For right here, I'm gonna do the single stitch, then a double stitch right there. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna put the tag like a Travis Scott right here or just right up here. Not too sure yet. More than likely, I'll probably put it on the side, but we'll play around with that. I also put the two, four little dots right there. So if I want, I'll put some two creases there so then the laces could go right through. I'm not too sure yet as well if I'm gonna do that or not because I normally don't really do that. It's just not my style. But that's just a little reference. So what I'm gonna do now is get the sewing machine ready, throw all the color um, threads that I need in there and then get started. I just wanted to share this real quick. I'm kind of holding the camera right now, but this is what I do, or this is like the little machine that I use to put the bobbin thread on. So you plop it in, you have the little bobbin right there. The thread goes in right over there and it just pretty much winds it all up. So as you can see, the belt's right here. If you turn it on, and I could turn it on right here, then it will just go. So it'll go just like that. This wheel will spin the bobbin and it'll pretty much throw the thread up on the bobbin. So if you're ever wondering like how to do a bobbin and you don't have any of the equipment, I just picked this bad boy off of eBay. It was fairly cheap, it was like nine bucks or so. So that's what I use to wind up my bobbins.
So as you can see, it is all stitched. We got the single stitch and the double stitch. All that we gotta do, get our little tweezers, just cut the excess thread that is on the sides, on each side of the front and the back. Then from there, I get myself a lighter, get the edges of the thread. Fairly simple, just don't do enough where it um, discolors the white thread or the white um, leather. You don't want that. So there we go. Starting to look like a Travis Scott tongue. Now from here, we get our scissors and cut it. So I'm gonna get my scissors, cut along the line. So as you can see, we just cut along the line because we're making a Air Jordan 1 tongue. That's what we got to do. So I'm just going to run the scissors all the way around. It's going to be very easy. All this lint that shows up is now going to be cut off. So all that you're going to have is a nice clean Jordan tongue. So I'm just going to keep on following around. And I want to make sure that I'm getting the full edge cut nice and flush. Also, I want to cut the very bottom. So I'm going to do that as well. And just like that. We got ourselves a very nice, clean Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 tongue. Back looks clean, front looks clean. If you're worried about those little white notches from the front, you could just get like um, an ink pen, something like that. Or not an ink pen, but like a paint pen that um, the dye won't come off onto your sock or something like that. So you could put that on there. It'll finish it, give it a nice, clean finish. I'm not too worried about it just because it's gonna be sitting like that. You aren't gonna see it. But this is how the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 tongue came out. So we got the padding on the inside, front leather, back leather, very simple, very easy. So now from here, we're just gonna be stitching it onto the toe. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, check out all my other videos. Hopefully this was very helpful. So now you could apply this to your own shoe making, make your own tongue like this. You know, this is just a very simple one. If you wanna add, you know, any more customizations, you could add, you know, the slits right here in order to have the laces go through. You could add the extra, um, like the extra leather on the side, stuff like that. But thanks for checking out this video and have a great day.